What is up, risk takers? Welcome to the Kill Pete strategy. I am Pete. I am a progressive specialist playing risk, global domination on PC, and this is Gerald, my strategic assistant. Um, what I'm doing on YouTube is I'm releasing a game daily. Um, Wednesdays is the podcast style interview show. Fridays is Fix Fridays. We play fixed games, and every other day is whatever I feel like. If you're interested in getting better at the game of risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and come along this journey with me. Today we are playing Arcanos, and I've had a lot of positive responses and requests for this map, so I'm doing another round of Arcanos. Today we added blizzards. Uh, settings are 60 second turns, balance blitz for rolls, uh, no filtering of rank, no fog, with blizzards, no alliances. Um, and I am in the fourth position. The first position we've Gaylord Gemfer, flying the flag of France. Um, oh, that looks like a lot of hours played. Okay. But they make a bad attack to start. I'm going to lose this three, aren't I? Yeah. <laughs> Okie dokie. Don't like losing three stacks right off the bat, but that is the way she goes in Arcanos. In the second position, we have Jeff Bordeaux from Switzerland. 17 hours with four wins and 23 losses, but a winning record and play with friends. It's always a helpful thing to take a look at the play with friends because... Oh, and I lose a two stack. <laughs> I have a bad feeling about this game already. Okay, I'm down to 15 troops after the first two players have played their first turn. In the third position, we have Bart Saber, also Switzerland. And they have a great record. Okay. Okay, okay. And they get a little hit on yellow. They try and kill me as well and fail. So let's watch for yellow and green. For potential collabing, I am next to act. There's nothing I can do with these troops. They are sandwiched between yellow's going to eat them for sure. My hope for a two-position play, which I normally would say makes sense in Arcanos, is somewhat dwindling. I can put them there and force green to push all their troops into me on the next turn. I don't usually like the center, but these two blizzards make the center appear a lot more attractive. Problem is, um, with a five stack, the green player will still be able to break me in the middle. So then I lose. Hmm. I don't love this. I don't have a good move. So what I'll do is I'll get my easy take there. I'll let the green player push into me, and I can reciprocate that attack again. That's what I'm going to do on my first turn. In the fifth position, we have Christelle Martin, also flying the flag of France, 407 hours with 111 wins and 629 losses. And they are going for the turtle-shaped continent, Isla Cangrejo, worth five. I think the two best continents in Arcadios are these two in the bottom, Isla Cangrejo and Isla Tortuga. Okay, Mithril, worth five, also up in the top. That's where the orange player goes, Aaron Thompson, flying the Canadian flag. And they're very aggressive, 333 hours. Okay, so the best record is green. They actually take the Mithril continent, wow, right off the bat. That is exciting. Okay, we're now in our second turn. White has bought it out. Okay. So white is offline. Yellow's going to remove me here. I die. There's no way I can come back from this. My hope to survive will be to maintain two positions... Um, build here, maybe expand into this continent. The uh, PlayStation controller looking one. B show. Yep, no surprise I lose my two. No, he's letting that two survive for an extra turn. Okay, green's going to gun into me though. Yellow takes Tortuga. Sure, and rolls five on twos. Right, right. Is yellow good? They have a winning record in play with friends. They're, they're playing quite aggressive. Uh, 
<sighs> Might be a short game for me. Unless I can figure out a way to not die. I'd be super surprised if green didn't put there and break me. Because then I'm actually in a much better position. <laughs> These blizzards very nicely block off the middle. So I don't actually have to be natural enemies with yellow. This is a deep, deep corner, right? Because of the way these two blizzards go. Yellow can push back into this territory and not have to worry, right? There's there's no way for yellow to attack to Bisho. There's no way for yellow to attack to. And green ran out of time. They bought it out? Sure. Okay. So what I do here is I put two troops in my exterior position because I don't want to lose it. Where do I get my take? I think I get my take there. I was able to hold the middle. And I saw this territory light up, so that I, suggesting that the bot will want to go that way, which gives me a hope to continue to guard that middle continent on a single front. And this is a really great blizzard. I might not be licked yet because I am allowed to, I'm being allowed to hold a continent. Okay, so black continues to work on this continent and now black and yellow will be natural enemies. Black is sandwiched between yellow and the rest of the board, right? You see yellow has a corner. They can't get through that blizzard or this blizzard. Orange has to go this way. So orange is at the other far point and they remove yellow from their front. Everyone's playing a lot more aggressively than me. And now we're just working on taking this continent. Very, very quick game. Lots of action. Okay. White Silbot finishes that continent. Okay. So I'm going to have to break. I don't want a bot on my border that has bonus. And yellow will now break black and have a mortal enemy of the black player. Okay, I still have two positions. It is essential that I don't lose either of them. To my surprise, yellow didn't break black. I fully expected that to happen. I guess it makes sense, though. They only have one direction to go. Okay, green's going to go that way. And attack again. Perfect. That's what I wanted to see. So now I can push out into this position and guard that. I kind of have to break that bot too, though. I might take there. Actually, I don't have to break green in the middle. So I can leave that. I'll pull out of the bot's continent. Okay. So I'm surrounded by a bit of a bot buffer zone. I, I love these these uh, B alliterations this morning. Uh, <laughs> surrounded by this bot buffer zone in the far west of the map. Um, black might not have the same good neighbor policy and break yellow is my hope. I really want to see a war here. It's inevitable. Once yellow finishes this corner, they will have nowhere to go. So it's in both of their mutual best interests to not have each other build up strength. This is actually a circumstance where good neighbor policy fails, kind of structurally. So yellow will finish this corner next turn, and then they will have nowhere to go. So they have to push into black. The orange player is going to finish this continent. Maybe slowly? That's wise. Orange player at 36, they are far ahead of everyone else in terms of troops for having finished Mithril on the first turn. We are now into the fourth turn. The white bot will retake. No, the white bot will continue popping the armadillo. That continent worth five. Okay, they finish B show. Okay, I'm in trouble with my exterior position because I don't have a good place to put these troops. I think on my next turn, what makes sense for me is actually to conquer all of B show. Um, and that way the, the white bot can continue to be a buffer zone between me and black, but I get value and I start to hold another con in. That's, that's what makes sense to my brain. I'm not yet abutting orange. I soon will. So I think orange will be my main natural enemy in the mid game towards the late game. Okay, so yellow finishes that con in. Black says, well played. Problem is, there is precious little direction for yellow to go 
except right there. And you see how they built up. Because now these guys understand how these blizzards are working for them. So I'm going to lose my three stack. I failed to lose my three stack, but, but green insists, and that's fine. I'm happy to hold the middle. Yeah, black's wishing me good luck. So I'm going to put a single troop there, and I'm going to use the rest to conquer b -show. Actually quite happy with how this has turned out so far. So I can guard b -show with a 3 and a 4 stack. I have yellow next to me. I'm hoping yellow loses that. Part of me actually thought I should take this exclave out. Uh, white, I expect to finish armadillo now as a good bot does, and we got a war, baby! Beautiful! Okay, so that will keep yellow occupied, and yellow can fight with black, and I can now hold two continents. <laughs> and my issue, and, and face my real issue, which is the orange player. The longer orange takes their time to finish this continent, the better. It's called Rossitania, and it's worth six. Orange now holding 15 territories. They do finish Rossitania this turn. No, they're guarding it strong. They're okay. They're one territory off. Okay, white black, white bot matches in early. Finishes Armadillo. No. Oh, now I got an 8-stack. Well, at least I get to hold that continent for one turn. Yellow matches in early and puts it all there and breaks black. Likely eliminates black from this entire position. Black's preemptive attack failed. Um, but black still has cards. Okay. This will not go well for yellow or black. Oh, good. Okay. Green bot matches and attacks that way. <coughs> Orange will still be allowed to expand out uncontested. That's good. That's a good piece of yellow that's removed. Okay, so I have two positions. I'm holding two continents, and that's great because... This white bot is going to fuck me. Okay, white has two cards. I could probably eat them. Now... I think I'm going to wait just a little bit, but I'm going to have to roll. I'm going to either have to roll that 8 stack or <clears throat> let them break me. Maybe letting them break me is smarter, but then I have to roll a 5 stack. Oh, I don't like this any way you slice it. I think I have to let them break me. Lost a ton of troops to do it, too. Okay, green's at 14 troops. So green and white are both bots, and, I will, and I'm positioned well to eat them on my next turn when I match. So let's see if we can pivot this position into a winning one. Black has bought it out. It makes white harder for me to kill. We'll see what white does. White's going to connect me. I'd be very surprised if they didn't. And if they didn't, I get to hold the continent. So I win either way. Orange is a bigger problem. Orange puts it all in. They're going to run into me in the middle. Or are they going to try and guard still? Because the, the slower orange expands, the better for me. I don't need this man to be my enemy. But I am certainly going to be at some point. Okay. Orange is guarding two continents. Mithril and Rastania. Okay. White doesn't break my continent. So I actually have a six stack that's locked inside of myself. White's easy fish, though. They have three cards and 14. Yellow putting in 15 troops, going to eat black. If yellow was good, they'd put their stack here. Guarding the final territory of black, so I can't eat them. I'm interested to see how this goes. I don't figure I can beat both yellow and orange, and I'm in between them both. The only way I can do it is if I manage to kill white and green. And it's my turn coming up, so that might be possible. I think I have to kill green first. So, green will have three cards. I hope. No, not like that. 
No, they won't get a take. Oh no, they only have two cards. Fuck. Okay. I have to kill white. Do I have the juice? I'm going to put two troops here. I'm going to put the rest. Is that enough to kill white? I fucking hope so. Alright, let's see some fireworks. Oh, fuck, man. You gotta roll singles, that's how. So the thing with the armadillo is... You don't want to split your troops too much, and you can <clears throat> save a bit of that by... Fuck. Fucked up. Because okay, so that defaulted... Just give me enough clock to finish white. Give me enough clock to finish white. Give me enough clock to finish white. Come on. Come on. I, no, and now I get unlucky. Wow. So you guys have this on video. What are the odds, eh? Now I lose. Good game. Yellow wins. Yellow gets the easy take on white. I do have a match on three. Okay, I'm not licked yet, but it's fucking close. Let's see. Oh, but I was smart, because I didn't finish white's exclave here. <clears throat> so either of my opponents, in order to kill white, have to overcommit. Maybe I'm not dead. So I, I did the... Ooh, it's so close, right? It's so close. I'm at 40. Yellow's at 40, but they have a ton of territory. Okay, orange is thinning out black, making black easier to kill for, uh, for yellow. No, they're killing green. Okay, they get two cards. Not, which doesn't trigger a match in turn. My next turn is going to be my last chance. So, depending on what yellow does, perhaps I can eat black and white. Or neither. Depending on, again, depending on what yellow does. This game will come down to me, the yellow player, and the orange player. And the orange player is guarded very strongly. Okay. Get a card. Yeah. White's holding four cards. Let's see if yellow can kill him. I have a match. That's my saving grace. So does yellow. Okay, yellow puts in the 20, which means I get the 25. I want to see yellow fuck this up. Maybe he doesn't have quite the clock to kill white or black. Let's see it. Take your time. Yeah, you're not going to do it at that speed. He's trying and he's failing. He's feeding me both white and black. And that's how I win this game. Okay, so the first player I have to kill is... Orange is a match. So I think the move for me is to stay in the middle. No, the move for me is to try and ruin yellow, I think. But it's going to be tough. Okay, at least I get these two matches, right? I get one match. I think I just eviscerate. No. No, 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 no. What is the fucking move? Mm. Damn it. I'm going to put my troops here with a thin border between me and orange. So orange holds much more territory than me. 
in terms of or, or, orange holds the same territory in, in, than me in terms of value. I have five cards. They have five cards. They're next to act. I'm I'm worried about uh, yellow, who literally has only one direction to go, but I'm holding five cards, so I I get the final say in this switch. They're gonna they're just gonna pop me right now. Fine. That's dumb though because that sets you up for yellow. Interesting. Okay. Well, it's not dumb per se. But some of me is going to survive because I have the next match, right? Very interesting how this game went. So orange made an equalizing play, right? They're going to leave me vulnerable to yellow, but yellow won't be able to finish me. So now yellow pulled ahead because of what orange did. Hmm. What I need is I desperately need to get troops behind yellow. Um, I need to take one of these two corners. I guess I could go the other way and, and, and try and cut through Mithril. That would be my move. Go one, two, and, and start in one of the one of the corners and let my opponents face each other. It seems like yellow has bought it out now. So that's fine by me. I will I will fight orange. <laughs> Which is cheaper? I'll open up that 20 stack. Hmm. It's the perfect time for yellow to bot out. Now I only have to go in this direction. Yeah. again. I don't think my luck will hold much longer. I think I'm amazed that I'm still alive this far. I don't think I have two turns to survive. Sam, when you're hot, you're hot, right? Match on three. Okay, so orange gonna punch me. Orange gonna almost kill me, but not quite. And then I get the match again. I can punch back. Very interesting. Let's see if yellow comes back online, or if uh, if this game is mostly decided. Neither of these guys are playing with speed, so. Three hundred thirty-three hours, but uh, I wonder what they mostly play. So if yellow stays a bot, there's no way they take me out. And somehow, by some dumb luck, I got the match on three. Stays a bot. Okay, so he's gonna get three or four takes and ruin my my B show. I I have to flank orange. I have to get into Mithril now. Two splits. Sure. Okay. Yellow is a problem for future Pete. Current Pete has to defeat orange. So let's do it. 53 troops. Okay, 
So I've inverted the positioning. I'm now sandwiched between yellow and orange, and orange is going to come pack me right back. No, orange suicides into yellow and gives me the game. I win. I'm now facing both bots. It's going to be a tough slog to try and beat yellow, but I'll figure it out. It's going to be multiple turns still before I can actually take on an army that is 5x my size, something like that. It's going to be tricky not to card block myself to... I need to penetrate into uh, Yellow's Heartland. So can, how close to killing Orange can I come on this turn? If I put four troops there... I'm going to farm Orange. I'm going to get one more card out of them in the middle. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to set them up to die next turn. And that way I get one more card that I'll use against the yellow player. Farming the bot. Okay, so Yellow's putting 36. They have most of the board, but you know how bots are. I really shouldn't be defeated by bots, ever. No matter how large. What's the match point? Match point is 60. Okay, I'm going to eat Yellow on my turn. I'm going to match, which will trigger a match in turn. I need to set that up to penetrate all the way into Yellow's continents, and that will fuck up the bot's brain, and the bot will not be able to recover from that move. And that's the plan. Yep, cool. All right, I kill Yellow with 11 is fine. The way I penetrate most uh, cheaply is through a 35 stack guard. And I'm going to go all the way rush to the far end of this map. And this is where playing with speed comes in. control most of this board and the bot has just over double my strength this game will be over quickly three more turns something like that can't believe I won <laughs> feels good Lucky, lucky. Matches on three are bound. <laughs> My opponent's making mistakes, feeding me bots, you know, all sorts of things. But as I always say, better lucky than good. And I'm going to finish the armadillo on my turn and guard from a single position. So these blizzards are nuts. This territory, what's it called? Forest Wall cuts this map in half because of the way the blizzards are. So if I can control this whole board from a single position, how's a bot going to beat me? 104 to it's 163. I have four cards. Definitely got a match. Almost there. Another cool thing to note about these blizzards is the center ring continent, Caminos, is split actually in three positions. So you have to get this piece all the way from there, this piece there. Like, this blizzard breaks the board in two massive non-contiguous sections.
Arginos connectivity is tricky. Oh, there's a two stack there? That's fine. I'll get it next turn. There we go. Mm. 70 troops! <laughs> it's a good thing I have the whole rest of this board. That's the game. So, I hope you guys I get another match on three. Wow. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found some of it um, informationally interesting or entertaining. Um, I'm really grateful that you would choose to spend your time with me. And if you like the work I'm doing on YouTube, please subscribe to this channel. I'm posting a video every day. So, a little something for everybody, I hope. In this game we played. Uh, for beginners, and the green player was a master. Um, until next time, for all of you on the path to world domination, good games, and good luck.